What's up everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Well today is a little bit of a mix. Um, first things first, I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I forgot to mention that the other day and I'm sorry I apologize. Well, get that out of the way. I hope you guys had a great Christmas, a wonderful time, you know. Got what you wanted for Christmas. Also, it, uh, it is New Year's? It is also New Year's, so if you're going out and getting drunk, if you're the above the age of 21, go have a good time. No drinking and driving. Don't do that. Have a great New Year's, guys. I'm going to enjoy myself, because right after this, and what you see in front of me here gets all put back where it was, I am going out to buy me some liquor. So, with that being said, guys, I was... I want to say thank you to Coke Craver for uh, telling me I did a good job on my very first dip video yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry, it was supposed to be up yesterday, but here lately my internet's been going kind of crappy. With that being said, guys, let's get right into it. Alright, so what I got here in front of me is 200, well, about 300 plus cans. It don't look like it, but there is. I spent time counting them. Yeah. Ridiculous, right? Um, so I showed you guys this mud jug yesterday that I'm still using, because why not? Why waste three mud jugs, right? Uh, this is my roadie. You find this at mudjug.com. This is an off-brand roadie, which is a little bit bigger, which I kind of like because it's so much, there's more room. You find this on Amazon. Um, oh, sorry about the dogs, and I got a dog on my bed, so don't worry. She's not going to bite you through the phone. This I actually got at a 70s store, and I'm surprised you could find this at spitbud.com. What's great about this, let me get the dust here, is you got a perfect little can holder. Great, it's amazing, I do use it. Trust me, but the only thing bad about it is not like a roadie, or a regular mud jug, I should say. Sometimes the lid does want to come off, but that's only if you don't actually snap it down. But this does come in handy. Also, I could, oh, where's my American flag mud jug? Oh, get off the couch. Mm-hmm. I was wanting to show that. <laughs> well, here, hold it. Um, Hold the phone towards you. Don't. Also, this is another one. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm holding my own phone right now, which is awkward because I got one more mud jug to show you guys. But this is my orange mud jug. Uh, it's gr I love them. I love these things. They're fucking amazing. And then... It's kind of crusty. That's because when I clean them, everybody's like, you soap, you soap. Well... As much as I dip, I don't use soap because it just does not get, it don't get the smell out. You didn't rinse it out, though. I, I did. No, it, that's why it still has the, oh. I just grabbed it and it rinsed it out. Oh, I don't care. This is my American flag mud jug. This was my first mud jug that I got. This was my second. And then, this is my third. So, the reason why I have all these cans here is to show you guys I, I'm a dipper. I do really dip. Um, uh, there's a few cans I want to show you that uh, talk about that I didn't get to the other day. Or yesterday, actually. Grizzly Premium Wintergreen is what I normally uh, do every now and then I can't really do it anymore because it causes me to get lightheaded for some reason um grizzly straight amazing for those first time dippers or well amateur dippers I should say rookie dippers go out and buy a can of this it's a uh, grizzly straight long cut and we got Copenhagen black most of you know they discontinued it I'm going to tell you right now Copenhagen Black's good with some whiskey. It not When I mixed a little bit of whiskey in with this, man, I got a buzz from hell. But it was awesome, and it was amazing. I love this stuff. 
All right, straight on to the skull. Now, I talked about skull yesterday, but that was only a few cans of lids that were on the table. Yeah, oh, no, I didn't. Well, yeah. Um, but skull long cut classic strike is good. Now, with that being said, I don't really do skull that much. So, if you do get a can and you like skull, go ahead and do skull. Mm. All right, I'll get on to that after I'm done. I know, I just let you. Uh, I talked about Kodiak yesterday. Every once in a while, I'll switch it up and go to Timberwolf and Kodiak when I feel like it. Alright, Skull Extra Mint. Now, for those mint, them damn mint lovers out there, such as myself, I gotta stop doing this. I Sometimes I forget I got a can, like a half a can, and I put it in the stack, and then like five months later, I realize where it was, and it's bad. Yeah, it's aggravating when you can't find your can. I know. I'm gonna cry. This is so upsetting. Anyway, Skull Extra Mint is delicious. I love it. Hell, I even swallow the, the juice. I, it doesn't bother me. I, I love it. Oh, yeah, go try it, by the way, if you guys haven't already done so. For those rookie dippers, I wouldn't recommend it if you don't like mint. Now, the only reason why I got this can here is because one day I asked somebody to pick me up a can and they got me the wrong one. The lady behind the counter. Dumbass, right? Yeah, but I dipped it. Unfortunately for this, I mixed it with a different kind of, uh, I believe it was like Copenhagen Straight or something. Say, like, because I don't, it's just not, eh, I don't know, I don't care for it too much. Out of all the Copenhagens, I gotta honestly tell you, Southern Blend used to be my top, top dip. And it is no longer my top dip anymore. It's like my bottom ten, maybe. It's really good, but it's dry. It's not as juicy as it used to be. Um, and we got the original Copenhagen Snuff. I don't do it because it tastes like fucking sand, in my opinion. I already have this. What are you... No. I, huh? I didn't do that. Well, we already talked about Copenhagen mint camel cans yesterday. Alright, so I'm going to show you two cans that are... Really, they've been discon... They only bring out every once in a while. One is this badass can right here. This can is dope. Sorry to say that. I hate using it, but I had to. This can is the most badass can there is. I love the lid on this can. This is by far my favorite can, and by far my favorite. You can't, you can barely find them nowadays. And this... It looks like this. Yeah. Yeah, and get that close up there. And this can is... I believe during hunting season or whatnot, but this is... They had this for a short period of time. This was a trial offer, actually, to see if people would agree with the can style. And if you guys want to take a closer look, I'll get a close-up here in a second. But this can, the reason why I still have, the reason why I like this can so much is because the, they played the, the normal silver into the background of the camo with the green, which is amazing. Normally when you see camo, you're thinking like when it, this, like right, right here, you're thinking this kind of camo, right? Mm -mm. Take a look at that. This can is very nice. I also have one more can to talk to you about, and I, I'll get on with the other thing here in a minute. But this is Skull Original Fine Cut. This shit tastes like crap. I'll be honest. I can't stand it. But I had to dip it because I had it. Now, with that being said... Oh, well, if you can't tell, I know you guys can kind of see off to the right here. I'm a Monster Truck fan. I'm dead fucking serious. I I love my Monster Jam. If it wasn't for me being such a fucking redneck. Um, I have a coupon here I'm about to show you guys right as soon as I put these cans back in order. This took me like 20 minutes to set up, by the way, because of all the cans I have. 
Um, this coupon here, I get two of them in the mail every month. This is a 350 all five cans of any style. You don't have to buy a roll or a log or a sleeve, whatever the fuck you guys call it. This is a coupon for five cans, 350 off your purchase. Now, I got I had another one, it was $1.50 off any two style cans. Now, to get these coupons every month in the mail, you need to go to freshcoke.com and sign up. You have to be over 21. And Give me one second. I also got something to show you guys because I got it from freshcoat.com. Now just give me about two seconds here. I'll just stare at the cans. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do that. They're so pretty. I know. Look at all the beautiful cans. Guys, I got a little present for you. I got this a while ago and I never showed it in my channel before because it... I haven't, hell, I haven't even drank out of this yet. And I probably will tonight. Tonight will probably be the first night I do it. This is an item that I have received. Also, I got one more, too. That I, from freshcoat.com. It's a whiskey glass, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? Well, you got that water container, too. Oh, shit. Yes, I also got a... You Let's, get a lot of free stuff with it, too. You get a lot of free stuff as long as you go to Fresh Cope every month and look to see what they got. Also, man, that is dustier than hell. A vapor water container. I used it, like, once. Don't ever use it. It's really good for outdoors. With all that being said, guys, um, there's really not much else to show you guys. For the simple fact... Oh. Nope. I don't think... Well, yeah, that's about it for that. Mm -hmm. But for uh, most of you... Oh, if you're wondering about the dirt bike. I got a little bit of exciting news and a little bit of... Bam news. One. The bland news. Is I may not have it Friday. Don't jump my ass about it. This is why. Because at the last second, I decided to get it personally customized for me. For myself. And the reason why is because the jersey and pants that I, and shit I own, you guys can look back through my previous video on dirt bike gear, where I have it all on. If you see what I'm wearing, I'm getting the dirt bike customized plastics customized to that. I had them ordered and everything. And the part that needed fix is coming in today. So, if I have it a little bit late, guys, I know I've been trying to get it. I'm trying desperately. I'm getting a little agitated about it, but I'm doing what I can. Don't worry, guys. He really is getting it. Don't worry. Yes, I'm I'm dead fucking serious because... I, just, I, I told him today that I had it customized. <laughs> Because if I wasn't getting it, guys, like I said, in dirt bike gear, the dirt bike gear video, I wouldn't own the pants, I wouldn't own the jersey, I wouldn't own a pretty much like a $300 helmet that I got off Amazon for like 70 bucks. <laughs> wouldn't pair, own a pair of fucking like 200 Oakley goggles that I got off Amazon for 60 bucks. Or boots that I got for 180 which are like two, $300. Actually, I'm for 150 Well, whatever. I wouldn't own it if I wasn't getting it. I am getting it. It is my bike. I paid for it when I came back from Indiana. You guys watched my Indiana trip video vlogs. I know you guys did. You guys know I spent two weeks away from Arkansas. And boy, was that a pain in the ass. But yes, guys. With that being said, right here in front of me is and will continue to grow 300 plus cans. Alright, guys. So, go check out Cope Craver. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Coke Craver's channel Drop a like and subscribe to him Savage Dippers TV Go drop a like and subscribe to them I, You know what Screw it Go drop a like and subscribe to everybody on YouTube Be nice It's New Year's right 2017's here And Drop a like and subscribe If you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you all In the next one